With the didgeridoo, breathing is an integral part of the game. You can't put it aside. Hi, my name is Zaylem Delarbe and I played Didgeridoo since 2002. During my life, I learned a lot by observing Didgeridoo players and uh, videos on the internet, but most of all by experimenting myself with the instrument, trying as much as possible to understand what's happening in my body. I'm of course still learning. And one of the biggest parts of my learning and I think this is the case for all didgeridoo players, is the process of breathing. It's not the circular breathing itself that takes me the most time, but how to use it, dedicated to the beats, dedicated to my creation. Because contrary to most other musical instruments, with the didgeridoo, breathing is an integral part of the game. You can't put it aside. And I think this is partly why this instrument is often considered difficult as it requires a total involvement of the body and the breathing, which for some is um, not easy. I recently had the desire to create online didgeridoo courses. I am preparing some courses for all levels from beginner to professional. And at the same time of this long process, I wanted to discuss with you about my vision of the didgeridoo and about some key elements. In the first one, I want to talk about breathing. Breathing, of course. Uh, breathing, which uh, I classify in three categories. The wobble breathing, the bounce breathing, and the mouse breathing. Knowing this free form of circular breathing is of course not a purpose in itself, but it may help you to see more clearly the most appropriate breathing to use according to the style of playing you want to produce. I want to say that of course I do not hold the absolute truth. This is my vision of the didgeridoo, which is based on my own observations and my interpretation of what others have said. The thing is, thinking like this made me play the way I play now. But do not hesitate to take different paths if this one does not suit to you. I received a lot of questions on the web and I saw a lot of teachers disagree on the way to use it. The way I learned it and the way I understand it is like that. A wobble is a breathing sound. It looks like wa or won or wo. Let's see with MRI what's happening during this breathing time. The sound wa is made first by the tongue, which will push some air out, going from back to up against the soft palate. This will close the mouth lungs hair path and open another path, nose lungs, making possible the air to enter through the nose. Okay. Now this new path is open, we are able to breathe, fooling our lungs, you can see it in blue, 
thanks also to the contraction of the diaphragm in red. After that, we come back to the initial movement, exhaling with the lungs to the mouth until the next cycle. The tone can also be helped by the cheeks or the jaw to make the sound more or less powerful and textured. So there are an infinity of wobble sounds, depending on the way we are going to use the cheeks, jaw and tongue to push the air out of our mouth. So we can define wobble breathing by a way of breathing with the nose, making a conscious movement that pushes air out of our mouth while producing a sound. Quite a strong definition, isn't it? But actually, it's simple. Wobble breathing is usually the first breathing that we learn when we are explained that we must empty our cheeks with only the cheeks muscles while we breathe with the nose. Do you remember? But often, during our training, after time, we sometimes switch to bounce breathing, which is kind of easier to do. What's bounce breathing? As you can see, there is a pulse made by the tongue and the abs. Then we breathe just after. This pulse can be a ton, ton, with a T pulse with the tongue, and you push with the abs. Can be a hon, what we can call a glottal pulse. and we breathe right after. This technique can be really useful for a dynamic and a percussive style of playing. So how does this circular breathing work here? Almost exactly the same way as wobble breathing works. As we saw before, the tongue is responsible for most of the thing. So it's thanks to the tongue, which will go from back of our mouth to the front, that we will be able to breathe. Actually, there are no other way to breathe through the nose pushing her out. The tongue has to make this move to switch the hair path. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is my understanding of this mechanism and uh, Gauthier Obe helped me to get to this point. Thanks Gauthier. Uh, a bounce breathing is usually very short and easy to do with the pulse just before. This pulse certainly makes the breathing easier thanks to the diaphragm which will suck the air, coming back down to its original position. Indeed, a pulse with the abs as a forced exhalation make it go up, then it will come back down, maybe creating a kind of vacuum. So we can define bounce breathing with one sentence now. Bounce breathing is a short breath through the nose made easier by a pulse just before. Before talking about the third breathing, let's compare those two. As we saw before, both ways our breathing are approximately working the same. Which is different is the way we use it and the sound it will produce. According to me, the bigger change will be the place where we will put the emphasis, the focus, and what do we really control. In wobble breathing, we focus on the breathing itself. We control exactly the sound and duration of the movement, as well as the amount of air we take in. In the bounce breathing, we focus on the pulse. The breathe is then done right after in a fast and silent way. We don't really control the 
breathing, but it's easy to fastly breathe thanks to the pulse. The bounce breathing is very suitable for some sharp and powerful rhythmic parts, while the wobble breathing is lovely for a gentle and flowing style of playing. Of course, everything can be made using both. All techniques are interesting and complementary. It depends, of course, on what music you want to make, which intensity and power you want to create. So here, let's talk about this concept, mouth breathing. What is it? Using beatbox sound inside the dig as uh, the key snare in, the crab scratch, the lift roll, hi-hat, inward bass, and a lot of other sounds, besides to be powerful and to add some new texture, can allow us to breathe, and it's so useful. This is why I want to talk about a new circular breathing. Mouth breathing is a way of breathing by inhaling through the mouth while making a sound. It's a great tool, of course, for all the beatbox part and also in the staccato style of playing or during some breaks and feels. Using it allows us to breathe and to be comfortable in a lot of new situations, so I advise you to use it. How to master it? First, by learning some breathing sounds, which are mainly beatbox sounds, such as case snare in, crab scratch, lift hole, hi-hat, and so on. Then by integrating it into the beat. And for that, do not hesitate to lose the vibration or to use some um, transition sounds as uh, the bubble sounds. This can help a lot. In conclusion, I would say that there is no better way of breathing and it's just many tools to be able to tell the musical story we want, depending on the situation. However, I noticed that often some didgeridoo players get stuck in their evolution when they only use bounce breathing. I think it's because this technique does not focus on the breathing itself compared to wobble or mouth breathing. Indeed, the breathing becomes associated with a pulse, making the player unable to really control the sound of the breathing itself as well as its duration and its intensity. Using only this way of breathing can make our beats all the same. Because remember, with didgeridoo, breathing has a huge place in the playing. My opinion is that one of the big quests of every player is to make all the sounds that he wants while being comfortable with breathing. That's why I deeply encourage you to take all these kinds of breathing into consideration. Then you will be able to mix everything. So no more limits in your creativity. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and uh, activate the bell if you want to be informed of the next video. Other free tutorials will come before the release of the complete classes which will precisely detail all these musical tools.